What's up everyone? I'm back here with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize the touch bar on your MacBook Pro uh, 13 inch or 15 inch models. So the process in doing this is actually very very simple um, and it's not at all hard to do. So the touch bar can be customized in act several different applications. Uh, ranging from the Finder to Safari to the Notes application to the Google Chrome web browser. Uh, various different things you can customize it. So for this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to customize it in a couple applications. So starting with Finder. So if we open up Finder here. And what you need to do is go to the very top left and click on View. And then you scroll down here until you see Customize Toolbar. And when you do that, it brings up this secondary menu uh, that allows you to add and remove buttons from the touch bar. So as you can see down on the bottom where the touch bar is right now, uh, it is currently wiggling around kind of like uh, it does on iOS uh, when you're trying to modify and or move an application icon. So you have various different options here. So on the touch bar, you just drag your mouse down to the bottom, as you can see, and then it starts to highlight the items in the touch bar. And you can scroll left to right using the trackpad to, see, to select what you would like. Um, and then all you have to do when you want to move something around, you just click on it and you say, I want to move this over here, or I want to move it back, like so. Or you want to remove it, you just drag up and it disappears and you're good to go. And then when you want to add an item to the touch bar from the menu here, uh, you just drag whatever you like, go like that, drag it down to the touch bar, let go, and there you go. That item is now added uh, to the bar, which is really, really cool. So then when you're done uh, editing, you just hit either done up here on the screen, or you can hit done on the touch bar itself. Uh, so you can do that, and then there you go. Your edits are now saved and are ready to go. So to give a demonstration in another application that supports this, uh, so let's go to a third party application that's not made by Apple. So let's go ahead and open up Chrome. And same process, you just go up to the uh, toolbar here, select view and then, oops, uh, then select customize touch bar again. It'll open up that secondary menu once again and you get some different contextual buttons for that particular application and or program, uh, which is really, really nice. So in this case, uh, say you don't want uh, this plus button, you can just remove it, and then you want to add a space. You just put a space in there. Say you want to add the home button. You can drag that down, add the home. There you go. So now the home button is now added to the touch bar. So that's really nice. And let's go put that so anyway, there you go, just like before, within the Finder, you just hit Done, and it saves your changes, and then that is now going to be the set of buttons that are accessible to you uh, when using the Google Chrome web browser. So that's the beauty of the touch bar, is the fact that whatever application you're using, and whichever buttons you have customized for that particular application, uh, it will be saved uh, no matter which app you use. But anyway... Yeah, so that's basically it. Hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, hit that thumbs up button as well. That's also much, much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or need help in any way, uh, drop a comment below, and I'll try to help you guys the best as I possibly can. So, yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.